going on everybody it's Azazel 2012 and I got some more gameplay on Black Ops and I am using the piece of shit Mac 11 today and because mainly whenever I play this game now I kind of run goofy stuff or I'm just trying to get challenges or something like that and I got a pretty good game with the Mac 11 so I decided fuck it I'll upload this motherfucker and I want to talk about a, a fairly serious topic that actually a while back I said I wouldn't talk about uh, somebody had asked me if I would do a video on the death penalty and I was like man I really don't have any interest you know it's just it's going to get people too riled up. But I read a news article today about uh, a botched execution in Oklahoma. So I decided I'd share my opinion and talk a little bit about the botched execution. So this convicted murderer, uh, he was convicted of this crime of murdering someone. He was on death row and he was executed. Now in Oklahoma, they were using a new mixture of drugs. When they administer drugs for the lethal injection, they use three drugs. They use one that this new one, I believe it was called Midazolam. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but you'll, you can look it up. And then they use after the, uh, after about 10 minutes, give or take the, the person that the drug has been administered to, will go unconscious. Once it has been determined by a doctor that the person is unconscious, they administer a drug that will paralyze the victim so that they feel nothing. Then they administer potassium chloride, which stops the heart and subsequently kills the person. And cool, that, that's how it works. Not that I'm really all that interested, but just in case you were wondering, I decided I'd share it. Now, they're using these drugs, and in some states they use different dosages of the drugs. Higher dosages in some states than others, which is weird. You'd think if they're going to do some sort of execution like that, that they would probably use a standard amount. Now, of course, it may have to differ depending upon the the size and weight of the person that they're having to give it to you know a bigger person will take more so on and so forth and uh, apparently during the process of administering these drugs the person they administered them to started moving around and gritting his teeth and, and trying to get out of the gurney so he could feel what was going on so apparently there was a bad reaction to the drug uh, well they stopped the execution and after about 10 minutes, it was determined that he was unconscious, so they were going to administer the second drug. But they decided not to, and they stopped the execution. When they stopped the execution, a little while later, uh, the person that they were giving the drug to, the person who was convicted, was declared dead. He had had a heart attack. So, I don't really understand how that's a botched execution if the guy still ends up dead. But I guess what they mean is that, of course, you know, with our Constitution in the United States... One of our amendments is, you know, something of along the lines, I'm not sure how it's worded exactly, but no cruel and unusual punishment, which would include executions, which, of course, I think killing someone is pretty cruel and unusual. So my opinion on that, once again, probably not that big of a deal to some people. Uh, but I just I don't think that we should be using this method if it's not working, because most of the countries that use the death penalty, there's no statistics that prove the, the death penalty actually deters crimes. In fact, it seems to be higher from what I've read. And it's been a couple of years since I've read anything on it. But that's just what I found in the last few years. So, I mean, it's still probably pretty similar to that. I mean, actually, the majority of the countries who, that don't use the death penalty tend to have a much lower crime rate and a much, much lower violent crime, crime rate. And I think that's pretty good. And if we can do something without having to kill everybody, then we probably should. And you got states like Florida... In Texas and Oklahoma who just love fucking executing people that's just what they do for a hobby I think they get bored and execute the shit out of people hell there are tons of comedians that actually make jokes about Texas executing people it's just something that happens all the time because apparently it's just that big of a fucking deal because you know Texas and they like to kill things and shoot guns and Republicans and immigrants and don't let them Mexicans in here and I disagree I have a lot of my YouTube friends who are from Texas and a lot of friends who live in Texas and some family in Texas so I know some parts of it are probably like that but hell it's like that here so what do you guys think let me know what you think about the uh, the death penalty and for those of you who live in other countries do you have the death penalty in your country if you do tell me about it uh, if you don't tell me what you know about your judicial system and how you can you know kind of share whether or not you think the death penalty is humane if it works you know I'm, I'm cool with all that but I'll say this, as I've, I've probably already mentioned a few different times, our opinion on it doesn't really matter too much. But I can say this, 
If you really do believe that the death penalty is something that should be done, give me a really good reason why, and I want to know a good reason why you don't if you feel the other way. So please, share those opinions with me, even though in the grand scheme of things, as I said, it doesn't really matter when it comes to lawmakers and such because the death penalty is never going to be changed in this country. I can almost guarantee that, at least not in my lifetime or probably the next couple of generations' lifetimes. So that's you know, not until we get all the damn rich old white people that hate everyone out of the damn Congress and Senate and such. So please share that with me and watch me destroy these rat bastards with this Mac 11 on this fucking map. I do have to say, though, Black Ops is one of my favorite Call of Duties, and I know that it had its problems, especially with hit detection and a few other things, but I love it. And uh, I do have to say that in the next week or two, you guys are probably going to see a lot more of me on YouTube because I will start my five-week paid sabbatical from work. So I'll probably be doing a lot of stuff on YouTube. I might try to upgrade my internet and probably try to do some streaming maybe. I don't know. That's no, there's no guarantee. My internet right now just won't handle it. Uh, but I am going to probably try to upload more and do more and interact and maybe do some open lobbies during the day on, on weekdays and such. So maybe you can get involved with that if you're around. So let me know what you think. Share your opinions down in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. I do appreciate everything you guys have been doing for me lately. And I'm looking forward to seeing some more growth here in the near future. I got some ideas that you guys might be interested in seeing a little bit later down the road. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night. It's been a Zazel 2012.